YouTubers. Hello, it's John the Magic Guy here. Um, last night, uh, my local magic club, Ring 265 of the International Brotherhood of Magicians, we had our final meeting of the year, and we had a fun night full of food and uh, drink and magic, and I was awarded the very prestigious um, President's Trophy. I believe it is kind of like when you had the track and field meets at school and you didn't do very well and you got the little ribbon that said participant. I believe I got it just for showing up and uh, participating. But uh, it's the only trophy I've ever got, so I like it. Thank you very much. Uh, it was a fun night full of magic and mirth. And um, my lucky iPhone here videotaped the whole thing. And so here's some video clips of it. I hope you enjoy it. If you uh, are a magician, you should come check out our uh, Magic Club. The uh, email address is right there. It'll give you all the information you need to get in touch with us. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great uh, beginning of summer. Uh, give me uh, one of the numbers of, of uh, the cards, like Ace through King. So Ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Winking. No suit. Just the number. Nine. Nine. You want to change your mind? You're happy with that? I'm happy with mine. Nine. Okay. <laughs> it does work for me. It does work for you. Hey. I'm sorry, uh, Ricardo? No. Rodrigo. Rodrigo, I'm sorry. Um, black or red? Black. Okay, so we have a black nine. Black nine. Black nine. Mike, club or spade? Spade. Spade. So fair. Nine of spades. Okay, now if I get this right, you guys go nuts. Go crazy. Okay. Because this is for TV. Okay. The YouTube. TV light, okay. But if but if I if I mess it up, you feel free to boot. Okay. Okay. I mean that's everybody. Nine of spades. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll do I'll do this right so the camera can see. Okay. Where is it? Nine of spades. There it is. Okay. No, oh, and I should tell you, no other. Well, there's two nines of clubs. But only nine one clubs nine. Of yeah, only one nine of spades. I know there's a heart in here somewhere. Not here. Yeah, there's only one nine of spades, right? Yeah. That's important. That's important. Because, you know, had you chosen this card, this one here, Paul? That's right. Well, all of you together. Uh, you would have, would have had to boo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of fact, if you chose the two of diamonds, you would have had to have boo. Mm -hmm. Or the six of hearts. As a matter of fact, any one of these cards here, you see boo, 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 every single, uh, boo, boo, every one of these cards, boo, 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 boo. every every single one of these, every, it, look at every single one of these cards, boo, 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 every one. Actually, that's a bit of a lie. No, really, it is because there was one card, guys, where you're all going to go crazy. Whoa. Yay! Thank you. Aren't they beautiful? Do you know what they are? Uh, yeah, most people guess sponge balls, little red balls. Some people think clown noses. That's not true. I've uh, I've had these for years. I don't know what they are. I found them on the street. I can touch them if you want. I've cleaned them. But I love them. These are my pets. I know it's not I named them. This one's name is here, and this one's name is there. I keep it simple because I'm not too sweet. But if I take there, I put it over here, and here goes over there. Do you know what happens? Well, absolutely nothing because I'm wasting your time. I get paid by the hour, so I have to learn to stretch. But if I take here and I shove it in over there, there goes over here, and I touch my thumbs, that'll make here jump from there to join there over here, which is cool, I think. Hold out your hand for me. I'll take there, because he's unruly. You take here, squeeze tight. I will make here jump from here to join there up there. Okay? Ready? Ready. Do you know what it does when I do this with my fingers? What? It just makes me look stupid. Really. <laughs> it's not weird. Look, I'm going to make mine disappear. Oh. Yeah, okay. These things are awesome. You take one over here, one in your pocket. Even from that distance, they will jump. One over here. One in my pocket. Have you been paying attention? Yes. How many in my hand? One. One? No, this time I fooled you. Look, there's one and a half. <laughs> <laughs> one over there. The half one was just for misdirection. How many in my hand? Uh, no, this time I look, I fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> Here, there, and everywhere. It's getting. It's totally messing up. We'll set those there. Um, other people will go and take them, and uh, not easy to do with band aids. <laughs> Stupid dove box. Oh, you have doves at home? 
No. <laughs> Stupid dumb noise. <laughs> Uh, other people go and do it extremely neatly. Um, so there are some cards. Some cards are shuffled perfectly and everything. And can you actually put your hand on top of that for me? Um, and other people don't care. They'll just mix them up and they'll make them all sloppy. So there are some cards face up, some cards face down. Just a complete mess. Uh, there's only actually one way to fix this. Feel that? A little. I fell over here. That's true. <laughs> See, if we take a look, our case switch places. They switch back. <laughs> back again. Now, if you take a look, now my cards are righted. Now, can you actually go and spread those cards out? Ooh. Very nice. Ooh, very nice. Okay, I'm going to use Andy mostly. Because to be honest, it's the most boring trick <laughs> in the entire world. Okay? okay. Um, Um, you don't even have to pick a card, you just have to think of a card. Okay? Okay? You got one. This is not one of these lying things. You do have to tell the truth with this one. It's the only hope I got. Okay? Um, okay. Move this over here. Okay. If your card is red, I want you to take this side, or this half, and move it over here. And if the card is black, that you're thinking of, I want you to take this side and move it over there. Now when you do it, just kind of shuffle the card around. So I'm gonna turn around and I just shuffle the, put the deck in the middle. So, so I don't know, I don't know which, one. yeah, complete okay. the cut. So red, you go this way. Black, you go that way. Okay, okay, I'm gonna turn around. Yep. Okay, and go ahead and do your thing. Okay. Okay, everything good? Yeah, it's good. Okay, I'm gonna turn back around. I can turn back around now? Yep, okay. Is he singing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of. Pen juggles. That. He has to sing. What's that? It's a pen juggles, but you have to sing. Mm -hmm. When it goes in there, special oh. pen's going to juggle. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm on. I think I'm on. Good. Yeah, I'm on good now. Yeah, okay. 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 This is cool. This is this is cool. I'm, 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 I'm all over it. I'm all over it. Okay. 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 This isn't that boring. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> If, it's getting there. If, yeah, it is. <laughs> if 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 the card is a is a um, a club or a heart, I want you to take this side and put it over here. Okay. If it's a, if it's a spade or a diamond, mm -hmm. I want you to put it over here. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. I'm turn around. You go ahead. Do your thing. Okay. Okay. I'm coming back. Come back. You're okay. I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Are you okay? okay? Wait, whoa. <laughs> what were you thinking? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm 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 on to you, I think. Yeah, I'm on to you. That's okay. That's okay. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Um yeah. Um all right. It's a lot riding on this person. It is. Um okay. I want I want you to, to take the cards and I want you to, to pick them up. Uh, and I want you to, to think of the value, and I want you to deal that many cards onto the table. Okay, so if you were thinking of a five, you would deal five cards on the table and just put the rest of the deck on top of it. If you, it was a jack, it's 11, queen is 12, king is 13, ace okay. is one. Got it? Got it. Okay, I'm going to turn around. Don't listen. I'm not, I'm going to talk blah, 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 blah. I'm just talking to myself over here. I really can't hear what's going on. That's the way Boy, I'm that marks a creep, there. isn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anymore. Am I, do you want me to complete the cut now? Or put the rest of the deck on the top? Put the, yeah, I'll put the rest of the deck on top. Okay. Okay, got that? Done. Done. Okay, I'm going to turn around again. Okay? Okay. Okay. And I hope this works. That's a good rate. Okay. 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 Last time. I'm going to turn around. I want you to pick up the cards. Yeah. I want you to... You got them? Got them. Okay. I want you to start dealing them on the table. 
And Melissa, you are going to get the idea to say stop. Okay, when you feel the urge, you just say stop. And Andy, when she says that, you know what you're going to do? <laughs> stop. You're going to stop. Stop. <laughs> you got it? I'm, I'm mid-deal. What do I do? <laughs> it's a conundrum. Put it you decide. Ooh. Can I turn around? Ooh. Can I turn around yet? Do I complete the cut? No, just no. three months in. <laughs> okay. You there? Yeah. I'm good. There, I can turn around. Turn around. Okay, it's your turn. Your turn. This has been, like I said, the most boring card trick in the world. Right? <laughs> You gotta admit, this has been nothing. There's been no magic at all. There's been a bunch of dealing, a bunch of thinking, a bunch of cutting, a bunch of nonsense. Anticipation. Okay, so there better be some magic happening or we're screwed. Okay? All right. What's the card you were thinking of? Oh, well, like 10 minutes ago? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Five minutes, 12 it seconds, two actually. Of diamonds. <laughs> Turn over that card. Now that's impressive. Yeah. You thought it was Okay. You were just thinking of a card, that, that you said perfect. stop, you didn't yeah. even know which one to put on, and you finally got it. Wow. Okay, but we're not done yet. <laughs> Spread, take the two of diamonds away, turn that over, the whole card, the whole deck, the whole. Spread them out, take yours. I didn't even touch them yet. Spread them out. Wow. There wasn't a single card except that one. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Wow. There you go. Finally. Oh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's just for my own thing because it saves me time on the internet later <laughs> for the past couple of years I have still been doing magic but I've been getting more into puzzles and uh, solving puzzles and writing puzzles and I've had uh, a lot of my stuff published in some magazines um, and so I've kind of moved more towards that so I'm going to show you one thing that I like to do uh, and I brought in a couple of these. You guys were looking at these before. They're puzzles made by like 19th century American puzzle maker Sam Lloyd. Uh, did you guys have you heard of him? Didn't he have a house? Sam Lloyd Wright. Yeah, he was the guy who put that house together. The other, he's the other Frank Lloyd Wright. Okay. Uh, so Sam Lloyd, he uh, invented a lot of these puzzles, and what I'm going to show you is based on something that, that he did. Uh, he was also a magician when he was younger too. Maybe you would have heard of him. Um, I have a bunch of magic wands, and I brought them with me right here. Oh, nice. Mm. Yeah, I like the visuals. So I'm going to put these up here. And what I'd like you to do is uh, count up the number of wands I have. Thirteen. There are thirteen, that's right. So how many red and how many black? Seven black, or seven red. Seven red, the rest are black. Six black. So seven red, six black. Right. Seven red, six black. Oh, yep. Magic move here. <laughs> Put these pieces back up here. That would make the science. Yeah. All right. Here. So, uh, how many ones are there? Thirteen. Thirteen ones. Uh, how many red? How many black? Well, now there's only six red and six seven red black. And seven. Six red and seven black. So what we did have you a do. We have a color changing wand. Ooh. Are you sure? Count again. Six red, seven black. Okay. Magic move. He's back up here. You just turned it around. Do it backwards. That's weird. That is weird. Mm. Yeah, that is weird. Not really a magic trick, but more of a puzzle, right? Just to, to try and figure out how it works. And we can do that later. Matter of fact, we can make two card tricks at the same time. Frank, come here. And uh, where's Petey? Petey, come here. <laughs> Petey. <laughs> Nobody's called me that in minutes. Sit, stand. Sit, please. Mm -hmm. All right, Brandon, I'm going to play through the deck like this. You say stop whenever you want. Ready? <laughs> well, I told you was going to try it. Ready? Stop. I didn't even. <laughs> Ready for a reason. Stop. Right there? You sure? Yep. That's the card you stop me at. Look at it, memorize it. PD, you take one, two. Say stop. Stop right there. Okay, I missed it. That's all right. <laughs> 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 
one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so Brandon, you going to remember what it is? Yep. Put it back in there somewhere. BD, you going to remember yours? Yep. We're not going to touch those again. Now, Brandon, I predicted which card you pick. And my prediction is written here on the back of my business card. The name of the card is? Is what? That's it, all right. Well, we'll get to you in a second, Brandon. But Petey, I have something special here for you. You know what this is? Uh, looks like a paper clip. Yeah, most people think uh, like a piece of wire or a twist tag or something. It's not. Okay. Uh, you've heard of dental floss. This is actually mental floss. Ar, 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 ar. <laughs> so, would you take the mental floss yep. and hold it to your forehead and concentrate on your card while I deal with bread? Your forehead. You are realistic. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon? I'll do my Ray Walston impersonation. <laughs> what did we say? What's that saying? It says the name of your card. I still don't know Ray Walston. Let's do it. special for you. Cool. Giant piece of paper, tissue paper. Mm -hmm. Just ordinary tissue paper. But if I take it, I wrap your mental floss with you concentrating on your card this whole time. And I wrap it up into a familiar shape. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's drinking straws. Right, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. To me. Uh -huh. so we bring out the fire. Ordinary tissue paper which disappears in a flame in a flash to bring us that's cool the seven of diamonds oh is that your sweet yep. oh. there's a there's a can you see that oh, you gotta turn it around for the camera oh, i'm sorry i'm sorry right, yeah, okay. put it on the table to pick it up better wow very nice oh i'm sorry did you have them set up shuffle them but don't mix up the order you can eight ferals it's okay I'd like to see a magician come out and introduce a trick with an abnormal deck of cards. Well, this, this is just, just cards. Okay, so we're going to have one person. Uh, you're going to pick a number for me, any number between uh, 10 and 20. Uh, 13. 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cards. One and a three make four, so we'll go one, two, three. Fourth card just happens to be an ace. Now, you can point to any other person, and they're going to give me a number between 10 and 20. Point to anybody you like? Mark? Mark? 11. 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Of course, one and one would be two. One, two, second card happens to be an ace. Ooh. Uh, we'll point to a third person. So you point to anybody you like. Doesn't matter. Eleven. Eleven again. Hey, boy, hey, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, eight, eleven. Eight, and one and one are two, and there's our third ace. Now we're going to have you point to any person, and they're going to give us any number between one and ten. And whatever that number is, I will turn up that number. Do you remember? Oh. <laughs> it's not a card trick. <laughs> Seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there's a seven. Thank you very much. But that's not, that's not the whole trick, because if we count down seven cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh card gives our fourth ace. Ooh. Yes. A lot of people, when they're doing magic, don't realize that different cards have different value. Can I borrow you as an assistant, sir? Yes. I would like you to put two hands out, one higher than the other. Okay. Now, when you're doing magic, the highest card in the deck is the spade. So we're going to take the spade, place it up high. The next highest card in the deck, of course, is the club. Spade is a high one. The club is the next highest. The red ones are kind of in the middle. Now, when I snap my fingers, the spade and the club, they're going to change places. Feel in? 
No. That's good. I'm married. Okay, so <laughs> that was that was the easy part. The hard part is to make them jump back, and now they've jumped back. And you didn't feel anything that time, yeah. did you? You probably don't even think they moved. What I'll do is I'll have the spade jump down to here, the club jump down to here, and if you reveal, you have the two red aces. Do you just hate when Brandon goes on and on with his card tricks then? Is it just like... You yes, that's really good, honey. That's awesome. I'm going to get you to do a trick that will absolutely floor your son. And he's sitting right behind you. Oh, this is going to freak you. This is going to freak him out. This will be great. Okay? I'll be easy. Grab one. Anyway, look at it. Show it around. It's very important you show it around. Because if you don't show it around, then, you know, we haven't got anybody to verify. Okay? That's important. Say stop. Stop. Okay. Cool. Now, as I said, I am not going to do the card trick. You're going to do absolutely everything. Okay? And you've never done anything like this before. This will be cool. That'll be neat. Now, before we do anything, in case you think I've done anything, so your card's not on top, right? Okay. Not on the bottom. Cool. All right. Now, I will tell you this. That this is all about, well, it's not about finding one card. It's about eliminating all of the others. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to eliminate. I'm going to do this right. We're going to eliminate a whole bunch of cards. But I'm going to help you. Have you ever seen these before? Never. You really? Okay. Do you guys know what these are? Yeah, I got these out of the shoe. Park. <laughs> so I was going to say, I got these out of a couple of guys in the Home Depot parking lot in Port Huron, but <laughs> Rodrigo's here. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Green, green cards. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. <laughs> I'm sure it only works in the States anyway, because we don't have that issue here. So. Uh. Anyway, um, but what they use these for, actually, these are from Las Vegas. And, and these are, are made to... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, that, that's an original, too, actually. Um, this is a nice deal. No, what, uh, what they use these for, uh, Melissa, is they, they will insert them into a deck of cards when they play blackjack. And, and they're called cut cards, and what they do is when they stick them in, they eliminate cards. So if you know anything about card counting, you know anything about card counting? Not very much. Really? Well, it's easy. One, two, three, <laughs> two. Multiply no, two. Thank you. <laughs> No, what they do is they, they will eliminate uh, portions of the deck so that you can't count cards if you're keeping track of aces and kings or, when you're, or, or whatever the face cards when you're playing blackjack. It eliminates them. And that's basically what I've done. I've eliminated part of the deck for you. So we're only going to concern ourselves with the cards that are in between the two green cards. It's easier. You haven't done this before. I understand. You probably don't want to do this again. Now, this is not a professional table, so do me a favor. Take, take the cards in your hand like you're going to play. Can you play fish or anything? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Any cards? What do you do with your free time? Yeah, read. Read. <laughs> Man. You read a book. Cards. <laughs> okay. no, and this is about the seventh card trick you've had to sit through today. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> take, no, take about half uh, off. I hide the plastic one. cutler. That's okay. Take about seven half <laughs> Put the other half on. That's great. Now, uh, a, a Speak English. <laughs> Put the other half on top, lady. No kidding. Uh, oh, give it, give it a little wave. Excellent. Now check this out. This is the cool part. This is the part where you get to find out that ooh, you are doing very well. Closing. I, I've seen this before. No, that is very. I mean, we've eliminated. You know, as I said, we're only dealing with the, the cards in the middle. That's very good. Most people don't get quite that far. That, that's very good. Now, Paul, I'm going to ask you. Do you have? Um, come here. It, this is not a professional table. How many cards would you say are between those those green cards? Between there, I think dozen, 12, maybe. Yeah. Cl cl not even a dozen. Not even a dozen. Okay, take the cards. Right, one more time. Give them a cut. Put one half down. The other half on top. So that's called cutting the cards. There we go. And you Doing do that. something new every day. Yes, you could. Have, you know, it's it's. Well, let's see how you did. <gasps> what? Don't look at me. You did well. Now I did say Melissa before this whole thing started that it's not about one card. It's not about finding one card. It is actually about eliminating all of the others. What was your card, by the way? I don't really remember. <laughs> <laughs> Two or something. This is why I can't show her anything. That's why I should tell everybody else. Go ahead. I think she deserves a hand. Hey. Way to go. Very well. She's a pretty beautiful assistant. Thank you. I have electrical tape. Would you do me a favor and go like this? So your thumb and forefinger there. I've got a little piece of tape. You just grab it. Tape your fingers. Oh, there. 
It's like a poor man's single bondage. Yeah. You've done that before? No. Now, I didn't do it that tight. No, it's... You, but can you wiggle your fingers in and out, or uh, it's hard to get them out of there, right? Exactly. I'm going to do mine a lot more tight, a lot tighter. And you have a watch on here. Yeah. No more. Take your watch, and then we'll go on with the trick. <laughs> but you know the linking rings, right? I've brought it down to its base. You can see that's my regular thumb. My, it's not a plastic thumb like some magicians may have. watch. Solid through something. Very good. But it didn't work. I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> no, I feel like this, though. It goes through. That's where it oh. Which is interesting. Solid through something. It's quite, quite impossible. You're working away, and there's a piece missing. And it gets really frustrating, and most of my puzzles are like that. So I, I went around the house. I went looking in the couch cushions and under the couch and under the cat and stuff and in the dog's mouth. I found all of these puzzle pieces here. In fact, there are 80 of them, 80 puzzle pieces. I put them here. I've even numbered them all by 1 through 80. They're all different. Some are like middle pieces. Uh, some are edge pieces. And some of them even have a puzzle design on both sides. Mm -hmm. So they're all different. Um, and I wanted to show you something kind of neat, but before we do something kind of neat, what I need, would you, kindly? Uh, this time I want you to pull out, um, let's just do, just do one, okay? Go. Okay, what one did you get? 53. Okay, 53. Would you mind uh, just looking on the table for piece number 53? I'll take that back. Uh, last night, I was doing um, a puzzle, and I got to the very end, I put it all together, it took me hours, and there was a piece missing, and it drove me crazy. Oh, no. No. Darn it. Did you find it? Nope. Can you keep looking? <laughs> Gold? <laughs> oh. It's right there where you left it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you check the other pieces, make sure nothing matches that? Anyhow, last night I was building uh, this oh, puzzle. Awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's Toronto. Uh, but there's a piece missing. Now, from this bag of numbers, 80 different numbers, and from the 80 different pieces, you ended up with piece number 52. Three. Oh, 53. Um, take a look at the piece you're holding. Look at the piece in the puzzle. Do you think if you arrange or kind of align that piece, do you think it'll fit? Yep, give it a try. In Spanish, so I'm gonna do it in Spanish. And um, it's also it's been time <laughs> since I took work. Well, well. Uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, so I brought this box. Inside this box, there's a bunch of elements I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna put here. And I'm going to tell you a story about this, but of oh. course, yeah, we can have a view, so you can see that this is not a car trick. Broken the booze up. Here, I'm so off this tail. Cards were like business cards, and they're black. Not <laughs> playing cards. No, not playing cards. So you can, you can go through the cards and see that there are normal cards. And uh, I want you to see the box. It's empty box. box. Yeah. Okay. I want to be as fair as possible. So, um, 
In Mexico, there's, there's a story about these little, little figures here that they're called alebrijes, or in Spanish, alebrijes. <laughs> oh, alebrijes. <laughs> I, I noticed the change. So it's like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> I'm getting better with my English accent. Um, <laughs> and that they, people think that they, they're alive, although they carve it in, in wood, they think uh, they're alive. So, I want, first of all, I want you, did you saw all the... I looked at most here? of them, yes. I want you to put any card that you want here in this box. Perfect. Now, I want you to choose one of these uh, alibis, the one that you like. This one right here. Are you sure? I'm sure. Do you want to change? Put it here. In there? Perfect. Oh, in the pencil. Can you put the pencil on? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave the box here. I'm not going to touch it anymore. No, I'm, I'm going to have to use cards for this trick, but they are abnormal cards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so I have these cards that I have. They are abnormal. They're yeah, abnormal they're people. Are totally abnormal, and they have different, you know, signs and figures and all that. Another brief here, or in Spanish, call it brief. Cannot read your mind, but he's here. The other brief is here, and he will see whatever you see. So can you help me here? Can you come up? I want you to put your thumb like this and just push and see one of the cards, okay? Just remember, okay? okay? And think about it. Think the box is moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, what figure did you saw? Can you describe the figure? Star. Oh. <laughs> Okay, please. C can you open the box? Okay. The sewer <laughs> jumps out. Yeah. There's the other bill here. This is real. Can you take the other bill here? And uh, can you move the paper? And see if it's Ooh. 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 Okay. that in for me? Okay. Now when I turn it around my back, I find your card. I put it back in the deck already. Amazing. Mm -hmm. The thing is I actually went and I took it out and I flipped it. Every single card but one. Ooh, ah. Wow. Oh, yeah. 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 An empty cup. Where else cup? And I brought just a piece of paper towel. Can you see there's not an ordinary piece of paper, John? Do you want to examine that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, your, your, your words, no, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm going to seal up the cutting. He's got more forehead than I do. I don't know where my face starts and my forehead stops. <laughs> Fair enough? Fair. As you can see, I'm all about presentation. Absolutely nothing to entertain. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Go like this. Go like this. All right. Um, let's see. Take the little red one. Tuck it inside the black one. If you take the cup, which was sealed beforehand. Mm, yeah, wow. Now, Paul, I chose you because you suffered like I suffered. And I'm using my hair on top. Because oh. you are well ahead of me. Well ahead. Of course, I do share. But as you know, <laughs> when you become a magician, 
you study at Hogwarts, you also learn potion making. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I am going to make you a potion to help your problem. To grow hair. Help you get the ladies. Okay. I haven't done this one ever, so oh. bear with me. First time. <laughs> or shall I say, hair with you. <laughs> Shut up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> There's milk here if anybody needs <laughs> To go with the coffee. Also, <laughs> Paul, it's a secret ingredient. ingredient. It's a home remedy. You can do this at home. You'll probably have to do it for the first couple of weeks. More of a chew. But we should see an immediate reaction. One day. This will you have to use zest two for one. Zest. I don't know oh, why, but it works. Right. Mm. Lovely. <laughs> Are you excited, Paul? I'm getting it. This is going on your head. Oh. <laughs> and I'll leave that one of these. Dishwasher tap for shine. Oh. <laughs> It's got the little red ball in it. That's for clean rinse. We need the special secret ingredient. Oh. Tic Tacs. Oh. I don't know why. Two Tic Tacs. Oh. That's so good. We'll mix it up. Stir it up and stand up. <laughs> All right. Nice big cup. See the bullets back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I've had to take up another job. <laughs> it just to uh, just to uh, kind of pay the bills, if you you know what I mean. So yeah, yeah, it's not not so not so good this year, not so good. But I did get another job, so that's good. You know, come from St. Thomas, all the factories are closing down. So I got lucky. I got lucky. I do a little courier work, a little courier work, a little back and forth stuff. Um, it's it's fun job. It's a fun job. Uh, you get to go everywhere. Um, you get to take breaks whenever you want, have your lunch. I carry mine around with me. Sorry, right, hold on. Is that a brain? Huh? <laughs> oh. Uh, remind me, I got a libretto make after the show. Remind me about that. But they did take me on a training course, and, and the training course was awesome. I mean, it was incredible stuff. They taught you all about bubble wrap. <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was good. They, um, they talked about packaging, proper packaging procedure. That was, that was like the first hour of class, and, and it was good. And I thought, I thought maybe, you know, before I make my deliveries tonight, after I got to run out there, and, and uh, yeah. Uh, I thought maybe I'd, I'd show you a bit of proper packaging procedure, uh, if I will. Um, now, I'm going to need uh, something to package, really. Um, oh, me. Paul. Paul. Yeah, Paul. Yeah. How you uh, bubble wrap? Can I, <laughs> I got the bubble wrap. Can I, can I grab your watch? Why not? Yeah, thanks. Now, when you're packaging up a valuable item, you need the bubble wrap to protect it. And this is obviously a cherished item. Inscribed. Who's Kay? Katie? 
Kathy? Kathy. Kathy? Oh, wait a minute, last name. Mart. Oh, never mind, never mind. All right. Now we need to wrap that sucker up. Oh, you need an envelope. Can you put your name on the envelope, please? And I'll get a bit of packing tape, because you don't want something to write with it. To ship in packaging. No. Something to write with? I didn't give you a tape? No. All right, never mind, never mind. Oh. Okay. There you go. See, that's not going to shift. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. All there is to it. <laughs> I want to go back to class. <laughs> really <neat. laughs> well done. Uh, One hour. Wow. Uh, Thank you. Good. 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 You can send it surface or air. <laughs> I like the air. It's <laughs> quick. I tell you, it is. It'll get to its destination yeah. eventually. Eventually, yeah. sometime. Now, not everybody can be a postal person. The delivery guy. Not everybody can be. It takes a special person. You've got to have that certain something. We all have a little bit of it. I'm just a little bit more full of it. You, you, need, to, you, need, to, you need to know about postal codes. About postal codes. And um, a little bit of uh, ESP. You need to know when somebody's getting ready to leave. So you can deliver the package five minutes later. <laughs> now, we've all got postal codes. And I'll tell you something. They, they told me in, in class, um, it's, it's, uh, it's a little secret, so don't let it out. Um, the letters in your postal code mean nothing. <laughs> we just throw them in there to make it a little longer. Um, but it's the numbers that are really important. Um, let, me, let me show you what I mean. Um, think of the numbers in your postal code. So, so remove, the, remove the letters. They mean nothing. They do. Okay. Oh, Andy, I got a letter for you here. Okay. Could you? Are you thinking of your three letters, yes. three numbers rather? Could you write them down on my pad there? Yes. Um, and, and just write them on the line there, and leave room for two other sets of numbers above, above yours. Excellent. Thank you. Now mine, mine is, is well, you don't need to know mine. You don't. What's classified? What, what's yours? Here, write yours down. Okay. Just above? Just, just above Ro Rodrigo's. Okay. Rodrigo's, sorry. Okay, it's great. Excellent. Excellent. Or is it? Excellent. Can you, can you write? Can you write Mine yours? Above? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yours. Yours just above the line there. The line there. Wonderful. Excellent. Got to get that pen back. <coughs> it's important. Now I'm not the greatest with the with the math. They don't let me handle the money yet. I haven't gotten to that yet. But it, um, is anybody here good with math? Pretty good with math. You're pretty good with math. You good with math? Excellent. Are you, are you good with math? <laughs> He's graduating this year. You better be good. There's three if, numbers. If you could add those numbers up. Oh, one. And I tell you what. <laughs> Sorry. I tell you what. I've got a calculator there just to make it a little bit easier. No, just hold, hold, hold the screen. Steel Sharpie pen. You have no need for it. I can't get the pen open, so yes. I wouldn't trust my mask. I'm, I really hate the steel Sharpie pens. Now that I bought four of them because they're steel Sharpies, and once I started to use them, I realized uh, they're crap. Hey, hey, hey. Do not buy a steel me? Sharpie. Don't buy a steel Sharpie. No, keep the damn thing on. Did you hear that, Internet? Do not buy a steel Sharpie. Steel Sharpies suck. That statement is endorsed by FedEx. <laughs> And, and what, what's the uh, what's the main postal code we got there? The numbers. The number, yes. One three two six. 
That's really kind of interesting because that's the postal code. Oh, I'll be shipping that box to Lou. Ooh. Yeah. Postal code? Okay. 1326. The, the letters mean nothing. Right. That's, that's, that's a real estate postal big city. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's got four <laughs> numbers in the postal code. Wow. The city is so big. How big is it? As soon as I figure out a response to that, it'll be part of the act. And I'll tell you, there was a part of the class dealing with deliveries. And I got really, that, I got really good with it. Um, and they showed us a lot of envelopes that were addressed incorrectly. It's a terrible thing, terrible thing. They go nowhere if they're addressed incorrectly. Now these have the stamps on the outside, but they have the addresses on the inside. We've got the uh, Canadian one, uh, one with a Chinese stamp on it, was kind of neat. One with an Irish stamp on it, that was fun to lick. <laughs> and uh, an American one right there. Uh, it took about six bloody weeks to get to me, but I got it anyways. Now, I got so good at being able to deliver these packages, regardless of the deliveries, I could always make sure that the proper envelope got to the proper person. Now, three of these envelopes um, are addressed to you guys, and one of them is addressed to me. And I'm going to let you take three of these envelopes, and you're going to have to leave me with one. Um, Andy, which one would you like? We got the China one or the Canadian one? America. America. There you go. Now, open it up and pull out the envelope that's inside, because um, the address is inside the envelope that's inside that. But don't open the envelope inside that. Just open the envelope first and pull out the envelope that's inside. Got it. That's clear. <coughs> OK. I'm happy. All right, good. <laughs> Mark. Yes. China, Canada, or Ireland? Oh, Ireland. Ireland? There you go. Look at that. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Irish. Oh, yeah. yeah Irish Spring. Irish Spring. Irish Spring. <coughs> Rodrigo, Canada or China? Canada. Canada, there you go. Open up your envelope. Inside your envelope should be another envelope. Open that envelope up. Come on, step it up. You're not postal workers. Let's go. Okay. And. Yours is yours. addressed to you. Me. And that is yours, right. too. And yours. That is yours as well, which means this one is mine and always was. Yay. 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 <laughs> Talking about things that are um, yours and not mine, this package here isn't mine it's actually yours paul oh yeah oh, boy, uh, you heavy, know what? i know i got it i'm a, <coughs> i am he's a pro i'm authorized to use box cutters oh gosh. <laughs> that was a two-hour course i'll tell you that much wow, two hours two-hour course but well worth it look at that skill <laughs> yeah, That's I'm not going to try it on an airplane yet, That's but a good one. they'll be more interested in my shoes, I'm sure. <laughs> Careful. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, never mind that. I'll take that course again. Of course again. Ah, there's a insufficient. There's a lack of bubble tape. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Got it at home. <laughs> Still packed well. Yeah. Packed very well. Oh. I want this. Packed very well. Babushka dolls. Yeah, babushka. Yeah. Let me say it in Spanish. Babushka. Babushka. <laughs> but you say it with an accent. Yeah, with an accent.
Yeah, it was, it was yours. It was How did you birthday. know it was my birthday yesterday? Yeah. Unbelievable. I'm going to get to open this one, I presume. Ooh. Oh. Another special oh. delivery. Hey. Hey. 